Hello Taurus, I'm Susie from The Gift Creator and I'm here to read your cards from the 9th to the 15th of August. So, Taurus, 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 what would you like to know us to know for the week of the 9th to the 15th of August? Universe, angels, spirit guides, Taurus, 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 Angels, spirit guides, universe, Taurus, 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 Angels, spirit guides, universe, Taurus, 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 Okay, Taurus. They're flown out. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five. Right. Okay, so we've got hard work this week, Taurus. Um, you're working towards a goal. Um, you could be self-employed. Uh, you are planting your seeds for the future. You have two choices. You're going to be offered two paths. You're going. To, you're and you're waiting to be told. You know, sort of meditating. Okay, what one do I pick? Which way do I go? It's like you're stable. You're feeling a low too, but your sandals are on. You're firing up, and you're waiting for this hierophant to come and give you the message. You could have someone coming swiftly towards you. You balance your yin, yin and yang, and you just go anyway. Or someone's travelling towards you. It's the charity, charity, the chariot is victory is in what you're doing. You may have chose to stay somewhere and not gamble this money away, okay? Um, the, the hard earned money. It's like you're staying working because you, you, you can see like five years down the line, two years down the line. It's like these seeds are going to plant. I'm going to go towards it, but... I think I'm going to stay where I am because someone from the past has, has stirred your feelings. Um, it's nostalgia, it's children, it's sort of, you want maybe to go into the future or you're rushing towards someone from the past or they're coming to, back towards you. So it puts you in this sort of decision of what to do. It's almost just when you want, it's like the two parts are, do I go over there and do this job and go do, do this plan or this person comes back in from the past and you're like or do I stay and not gamble that money I've saved and put it maybe into the house or the family or something like that there's someone from the past coming back in so it puts you in two minds and Aries had very similar it's like start stop start stop so it's like you're rushing towards something but it's kind of like oh, I don't really have the money for it or I don't want to gamble that. Or you have left the house and you haven't got any money. Because someone is coming back from the past and you're getting feelings. So it's this indecision. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? King of Wands here wants to offer some kind of passion. Because he's a leader. He's passionate, he's Aries, he's like handsome and a business mind and wants to just rush into things all the time. Um, it feels like that you've been toppled and that people, little tiny things are going wrong, okay? You, and, but it's because people are trying to push you off your path or um, you just can't get to the destination and you don't know why. Uh, it could be that you're offered this stability within the family. It could be an inheritance. There's money here. You're going to get money. But you're also going to have this time out to look after yourself. Um, there could be some kind of ending with tears, with the death and a transformation. It's kind of like you're given the money to take a break because you need to transform yourself. Uh, there could be people jealous of this inheritance or the fact that you've got this king of wands or this businessman, or this new thing from the past is bearing fruit. Two, it's like two things are going on at the same time, Taurus. Um, the Page of Swords up here is sort of... He's a spy, they say. He's a hindrance in any undertaking. A jealous person, someone younger who thinks they know it all. He's coming rushing, but after that death card, which is like there's this ending, but it's almost like they want to poke or say something more. When you're just trying to like maybe give up drink or look after yourself, fall in love with yourself, you've got time out to do it. Um, this person comes in and says, well, 
they could find out you've got this money, you owe me this much. So you end up feeling left out a bit because you've got to pay off this person. It could be a Gemini because they're because they're going to tell people things, and it's like oh, so it's about you're trying to work hard to plant seeds for the future. You've got two roads that you can take. Someone could be rushing towards you. You will get initial victory and realize that okay, I'm not going to go. But then someone from the past comes back in. And you're put into two minds, should I stay or should I go? King of Wands, offering love, offering passion, offering this. And it kind of puts, there's some, it's almost like someone puts a, a fly in the ointment. That's what I'm hearing. And it's difficult to get to this money, but this money comes, but you need to look after your health. You need to exercise, you need to drink water. You're given time out with this money. It could be like a, a big payoff or a, you know, when you... I can't know the word for it when you leave work and they give you the money because you it's like redundancy or something so it feels like a death it feels like an ending so it's like well okay at least i've got this money i can look after myself the page of swords comes in duh, 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 with this ending and they're making it worse and it's like oh i've got to pay that as well it's like i'll pay 50p five pound a week off this credit card and they'll be off my back it's almost like you have to pay this person to get off your back or because they're jealous or they're a spy but they're coming in on a time when you're just trying to take some time out for yourself let's ask this angel spirit guides. so it's financial and love it seems to come hand in hand this week but it's it's almost like i just need to look after myself and this the sun will rise after that but there's some debts to pay off angels spirit guides taurus taurus romance angels what do you like taurus to know about the week of the 9th of august Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Angels, spirit guides, universe, what would you like Taurus to know about the week of the 9th of August? The week of the 9th of August, please. The week of the 9th of August. Okay, so we've only got two down here. Okay. Oh, you've got two, the same as Aries, honeymoon and retreat. Maybe you know an Aries. And soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate because this king of wands is an Aries. Attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully and engagement. It's kind of like you're going to take time out. There's, there's one under my foot. Hold on a minute, Taurus. Hold on. Love yourself first. Yes. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So you're going to have these conversations. You might go away with this person. Again, Taurus, Aries had this chariot. It could be that you're traveling away with someone to a honeymoon or a, a treat, retreat. It could be an engagement. They might want to tell you this thing, but it's like... Concentrate on your health and your um, loving yourself first. Because someone could be jealous around you and they make things difficult for you when you meet this person. It's like this, you're trying to work hard on yourself, plant seeds for the future. You're given two paths to take. Someone could rush towards you from the path and it changes the whole dynamic. So then you're like, what shall I do? King of Wands is here, wants to offer passion, but I've got this, this, this and this coming. You might have this money coming in and it gives you this time out. But it, it's a life transformation with the death. You know, it's an ending of one thing, beginning of something else. Don't listen to gossip. Maybe take this retreat back from people. Uh, love yourself first. Yes, there's an attraction. It, this is your soulmate. Um, maybe it's time to stop being your own and working on yourself. And working on, not working on yourself, but being working alone. And you're going to have to have time out to get healthy and end something before and maybe some bills or something like that before you can jump into this this new thing. People might not like it. They're jealous. Angel, spirit, that's Taurus, 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 to the 50th of August for Taurus. What would the angels and spirit guides like Taurus to know? What the angels and spirit guides universe, universe like Taurus to know? Oh, look, I'm helping you 
with your spiritual soulmate relationship taurus there's definitely love coming it doesn't i can't see love i can see passion and there's there's love from the past it's nostalgia and but it's security health it's almost trying to get everything sorted out so you can be with this king of wands angels spirit guides what would you like taurus to know about the week of the night week of the night of august August. Change and direction. Told you the changes you're experiencing are divinely guided, directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protective now and in the future, so follow your path, the happy outcomes you desire. Don't let other people push you off this security that you love and that you're going to, okay? I am the angel of abundance. You will receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen. Wow, all these cards. Now that you've asked the angels for help, be open to receiving divine guidance and assistance. You deserve heaven's help. You're being literally lifted up and put down where you're supposed to be, Taurus ground it, uh, um, that that ten of pentacles up there you're going to have the money and it's almost divinely you're being helped spiritually very very helped yes this is your soulmate honey love your honeymoon love yourself first respect yourself there's an attraction there get to know each other have conversation so honor yourself you don't have to really sleep with this person on the first day if you like them sort other things out so that you can be with this person this could involve an engagement or something. So, Taurus, it's all going on. You're being spiritually guided. So take care of yourself. Please like, share and subscribe. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.